Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Sarah. I hope everyone is well. I'm a terrible human being. I I am so sorry. I wanted to have these up by um, the end of the day on August 31st. And for some odd reason, I thought August 31st fell on Tuesday this year. And it fell on Monday. And today is Tuesday, September 1st. And I still have six signs to read for for the month of September. So I'm going to knock them all out tonight. I, again, I, I am deeply sorry. I'm a terrible human being. I have got to get my shit together. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. We're going to throw them down for Pisces right now and get the rest of the six signs done tonight. So, this reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you. Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Please keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play off from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. If I could make words work right now. All right, let's get them thrown down for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, Nine of Swords in the reverse. Pisces. Just trying to get out of your head about something. Trying to not think about something. Or you've gone completely bat crap bonkers. One of the two. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? The Sun in the reverse could be a Leo that you're disconnecting with. Or dealing with. It being in the reverse. I'm feeling like this is kind of a disconnect thing. That and... That's feeling more like trying to not think about it. Just trying to put it out of your head. Unacknowledged connection. That's how you feel. Maybe one of the other of you just wasn't feeling it. Okay. We'll throw a clarifier on in a second. What do you think of the person you're dealing with, Knight of Swords? Probably a little bit kind of stalkerish. There's a good possibility. Like... I don't know, maybe they check your Facebook 500 times a day, or your Instagram, or they like everything you post. Yeah. Yeah, don't you hate it when people do that? It's a little creepy, isn't it? A little creepy. What do you want from the person that you're dealing with? You, uh, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Huh. The Wheel of Fortune Reverse indicates return. Usually. Pisces, you have me all kinds of confused. Maybe you want them to go back where they came from. I don't know. We'll throw clarifiers on her in a minute. How do they feel about you? Page of Cups in the Reverse. Somebody's not not saying how they feel, possibly not communicating feelings. Maybe one of you struggled with that. Could have been you, Pisces. Could have been the person you were dealing with. Somebody was struggling with expressing how they feel, saying how they felt, putting it to words. What do they think of you, the Empress? They think the world of you. They do, Pisces. They think the world of you. They think this connection had potential. They want... They thought it would be something that could grow. They thought that maybe you could be a, the mother or the father of their children. Weird. Okay. What do they want from you? Here, if it in the reverse, you mirror each other just a little bit. That's a card of the holy disconnect. Hmm. Okay. Wild stuff. What's the uh, obstacle or challenge? Page of Wands. Uh huh. Okay. 
Why does it always have to be the wands? Hmm. It's a page. It's a messenger. It's a certain nature. I'm going to dance around it. Even though we're all adults here, I have to dance around it. Sugar and spice and all things nice. And I think the obstacle in this connection is that's all it was for somebody. It wasn't about feelings, wasn't it? Or was it? No, I don't think it was. Not like emotional ones anyway. What needs to be done? Seven of Swords reversed. Honest conversation time. We're long past honest conversation time for some of you. Because an honest conversation should have happened a while ago. Like, what intentions were in the beginning for some of you, quite possibly. Okay. Stand up. Thank you. Alright. Universe, stars, and spirits. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Pisces? Friends, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. September 2020. Oh. Star reversed came out without intention, so... Oh. Well... Putting it out of your head and just trying not to think about it or deal with it, but you're not healing from it either. Okay, fair enough. To each their own. I don't knock anybody else's process. You do you. The moon in the reverse came out without intention. I think things in this scenario are definitely coming to light. If they haven't already, they're about to. Why is the sun reversed here? Three cards, really? Okay. The Hermit reversed, the Three of Swords reversed, the Ten of Pentacles in the uprights. Unacknowledged connection, the sun isn't shining. Possibly you feel like they were all about work, work, work. Had their head head in the sand about something. This hermit in reverse. Ignoring something, possibly ignoring some feelings, maybe. Possibly. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Page of Cups next to this Three of Swords. It wasn't reciprocated. I don't see you as being all that heartbroken. I don't think you had any trouble saying what you felt, felt Pisces. You weren't, the, you weren't the one with the lack of communication issue. I think it was the other person. Why is the Knight of Swords here? I just heard you're going to miss me when I'm gone. I don't know why that started ringing through my head. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. Maybe somebody's missing you, Pisces. Maybe they didn't realize they had feelings for you until you weren't there. Ten of Swords. This is what you think of them. You just want the sun to shine again. Maybe you want the sun to shine for them. Maybe you want the sun to shine for both of you. You just want this to be over. Six of Cups reversed. There's salty feelings here. You don't know why they visit your social media page 500 times a day and like everything you post, but you kind of got salty feelings about it. You just, you just want this to be over. You want it to be over and done. Okay. 
Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? I'm feeling a little bit of bitterness coming off of this, Pisces. I'm hearing you couldn't say it when we were together. Why can't? Why are you wanting to say it now? Ah. Okay. What does it look like when it finally lands? The lovers. Upward turn of events, downward turn of events, closure, whatever you want to call it. You at least want what it was to be acknowledged. The lovers in the upright. If you felt something, tell me. Okay, super weird. Whatever. I'm not seeing where it matters now, but I'm not in your shoes. So, king of wands in the reverse. That's where this comes into play. I believe so. Sugar and spice and all things nice, if you know what I'm saying. I think the other person involved in this, the feelings were necessarily feelings from the heart, if you know what I'm saying. Why is the Page of Cups reversed here for how the other person feels about Pisces? You want to talk. Karma. Hmm. Seven of Wands. God, there's a lot of wands on this table. I get a funny feeling you're dealing with a fire sign. It could be just about anybody. I got just about everybody on the board, but it's a screaming fire sign. Karma is the card of allowing something to die so it can resurrect. Seven of Wands battling inner demons. Possibly, maybe somebody had some insecurity issues. Maybe they felt like your feelings were a little bit closed off. I can get one more. Just try to even these energies out just a little bit. If I can get one card to say the rest of that, please. Thank you. Five of Cups. They're sad. But they feel like you were harboring some sadness. You couldn't see the two full cups because there was three spilt cups. Maybe you had three spoke cups somewhere along the way, Pisces. Cups, 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 cups. Hmm. Hmm. Cups, 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 cups. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Okay. Hi. Ten of Cups. Pisces, they saw potential in this. I think they wanted it real bad. You brought them great happiness. Maybe that's why they're visiting your social media page 500 times a day. Can I get one more on that, please? I... Four of Cups in the reverse. They they think you ignored the, the cup that they tried to give you. I don't think you saw it as a cup. There's different ways of expressing emotions. And for some people, that'd be sugar and spice and everything nice if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> some people can't separate the heart and the other parts. You know what I'm saying? They felt a little bit ignored. Okay, why is the Hierophant reversed here? King of Swords. Yeah, 
Yeah, honest communication. The non-emotional kind. Okay. Logic. One more. Knight of Cups reversed and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. They don't want to let you go. Super strange. One more. Knight of Swords. I'm hearing say something back. Hmm, okay. Maybe they just want the, the communication to be reciprocated. Hmm, okay. This Knight of Cups reverse, they want to commit. Or they may want to commit, and they may have wanted a commitment. They might still. But with this Hierophant reversed, Queen of Cups comes out. Emotion, emotion. They want you to know that they have feelings. That they felt something. Okay. Why is the Page of Swords here? Or, sorry, the Page of Wands here. Sorry, Source. Why is the Page of Wands here? For that challenge and obstacle. Temperance reversed. Empress reversed. You didn't mesh well. Maybe you didn't relate to each other very well. The energy flow between you wasn't so good. Possibly you weren't on the same page communication-wise. Why is the Empress reversed here? Ace of Cups. Is temperance reversed here? Page of Swords. The issue here was terrible communication. Somebody in this scenario did not communicate what they wanted and needed. And the other person just assumed something. And that's what I'm getting out of this. Somebody needed more than just sugar and spice and everything nice. Hmm. Okay. Why is Seven of Swords reversed here? Two of Cups reversed, Queen of Swords reversed, and a Three of Cups on top of a Seven of Swords. Okay, an honest, an honest conversation needs to happen here. Why is the Queen of Swords reversed?
Eight of Swords upright. Somebody might be hung up on the other person's attitude toward the situation. Sun reversed. Okay, fine. Five of Wands, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Okay. That's enough. Eight cards is plenty. Y'all need to sit down and have an honest conversation about why it deteriorated. Not a confrontation, a conversation. Do you understand the difference between the two? Y'all need to check your attitudes and come into this, if you decide to do this, in a place of trying to fill each other's cups rather than kicking them over. Come from a place of caring and understanding and closure. Because there's already enough salty attitudes here. And the lack of communication was the problem. Do I see this reconciling? I don't know. I mean, it's anything's possible. But I think at the very least, closing the chapter so you can move on to the next. Advice. Eight of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Don't get hung up on the other person's reaction, but keep yourself in check. The tower upright, hermit reversed. Don't try to put your head in the sand and pretend that nothing happened. Worst thing you can do. That's just sweeping the elephant under the rug. And then you have this giant elephant in the middle of your living room. It kind of looks like a scene out of Arabian Nights or something. I don't know. An elephant with like a rug on its back. You know what I'm saying? No. No, because the elephant's always going to be in the room. Don't just sweep it under the rug because eventually the storm's going to come and the tower's going to fall. Page of Pentacles upright, Ten of Cups upright. That's a beautiful sound piece of advice, sir. Ease off the gas pedal. Take your time. Slowly work back into a place of emotional stability and happiness. Just, it's not going to happen overnight. So if you choose to try to fix this, just understand it is not going to happen overnight. You have to deal with the elephant under the rug. The Four of Wands and the Fool. What? Ah, that makes more sense. Eight of Cups reverse Nine of Wands. Trust yourself, trust your judgment. If you decide to return to this, make sure the door is open. Don't stand there and beat on a closed door. Okay? If you decide you got one last push left in you. But, you know, keep your guard up. And just look before you leave. Okay? All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. That was a cluster cuss of weird, let me tell you. I don't know what happened there. Just know that you're loved. Be blessed. Let me know what happens. Woo! That was just coming to me from all sides. Oh, my gosh. All right. 
Thanks for stopping by. Again, let me know. Shoot me an email. I love emails. In fact, I have quite a few sitting in the inbox that I still need to read. So, love ya. Catch you in a couple of weeks for your October.